everyone, Cheek here with another Transformers review, and today I will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Dead End number three of five of Menasaur. Uh, so far, I have all but one. Um, there he is, Transforms in one five steps. Q uh, QR code if you'd like to scan that to look at his specs. Lovely artwork on the side. And that's about it for the packaging, of course, barcodes, and then I ordered this on Amazon, so of course there's a sticker barcode over the normal barcode. So yeah, let's go ahead and get him opened up. So here we have Dead End out of the packaging, and uh, he forms one of the arms, or the other arm that drags it uh, forms. Normally I do a com quick comparison of all the others in their robot modes, and all of them in their vehicle modes, and then all of them combined. Today, just to make these a little bit quicker, I'm not going to do that. I will do it one last time with all five of them once I get the last one. Once I get him, then we'll do a one last comparison, then we'll do a final combined thing. And then we'll have Metasaur finally complete! Can't wait, definitely look for that. Oh, actually, I did get a notification that I'm supposed to get it relatively soon. Uh, sooner than expected, so yeah, I'll probably get that review relatively soon after this one, hopefully. Anyway, without further ado, let's get a closer look at him. So his face is mostly black. It's head black with purple metallic visor, a red orange mouth and nose, or mouth plate, I should say, and nose. His head is on a swivel, so it's not on a ball joint, unfortunately, so you can't do anything. You can only just look around. That's about it. And, um,. He has lovely detail. Uh, it's relatively simple, but there's gray, metallic gray, um, silver, black, a nice little Decepticon emblem, um, and then a rust or maroon, and then a nice racing stripe down the back, which is pretty cool. I do dig this thing, um, this character a little bit. I think he's supposed to have a, a more of a pronounced spoiler, and I think some people were upset about that. I'm not sure, or was it the white one that I still don't have yet? I don't know. All I know is that some people were upset. I will say this, um, at least on my copy, the only thing that really bugs me is the fact that the hood always seems to pop off, uh, either when transforming them into vehicle mode or from vehicle to robot, it just pops off the hinge. So that would have been solved if there was a pin. But then again, if someone snapped that off, then it would be pretty much broken and then no one wants that. And then he does come with two little guns. It looks almost like a harpoon gun, honestly, although that's just the top of the barrel and the sides right there. It's just uh, some decorative detail. Uh, just have some pegs on the side, makes me wonder, and a peg on the back, which makes me wonder if all this time, all the weapons for these five Stunticons are meant to combine. I haven't seen anything in the instructions, but hey, once I have all five of them, maybe I'll uh, fiddle around with them and see if they actually do combine, or if you can combine them into some semblance of a weapon. Whatever. Uh, that'd be cool if there there is that capability. Anyway, further on to articulation. Arms go out that far. and do have full 360, and careful to tire. Bicep rotation. Oh, let's move the gun seat. Eh, not much more, less than 90 degree bend at the elbow. Kind of had no hand, no wrist rotation, hip rotation, and I wonder how that works considering that there is this that separates his hips entirely, so that's interesting. Can't remember if drag ship has hip rotation or not either. Um, I think we'll about that far back and pretty far forward, and then thigh rotation. You can do the full splits. Knees less than 90 degree bend, just mainly because of how chonky his legs are. Ankle tiltage, and he looks like, and I guess you could do that, but that's also primarily just for transformation. And yes, he does have tiny little stubby feet. It looks almost like he doesn't even have feet, but hey, he can stand, so whatever. Don't give him too much grief about that. Anyway, let's get on to transformation. Okay, so first thing you want to do, rotate the door down, rotate the tire down, and then rotate down rotate down then you want to uh jet see I, I barely even pulled back on it and it already came off it already came off so that that's just pathetic it's really just pathetic see 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 i don't know why it just it, i guess once you get into position it just doesn't want to hold on because it seems to be holding on okay right here but as soon as i get it down pops off the only thing holding it on is i guess those little slots right there anyway no, forget, forget, let's, let, let's just leave the hood off for right now. 
pull that back, disconnect, disconnect, flip the head back. And another thing, I, I think it's cool that they came up with different transformations for these guys. The only complaint that I do have about it is like, if the, uh, say the other transformation, say for the other couple, I can't remember the, the Sundacons are never my personal favorite when it came to the combiners, but, um, I mean, because I know this is my first Menasaur, honestly. My first Menasaur, the only one that only combiners I've ever had is Devastator and um, Bruticus. It looks like they might have been designing it possibly have a pin. So if you look in there, it does look like there's holes for a pin, but there's obviously no hole here. Just two tiny little um, nibbins to hold it in place. So to have that back into place. But yeah, uh, this is my, like I said, this is my first. Um, my first uh, uh, Menasaur, uh, or will be once I get the last one. Um, now, of course, my I, if you saw caught my review a little a few days ago, or when I was on leave, I did a review of a figure that I traded a bunch of my old stuff in for, which was Piranha King. I can't remember. He he has a different name in the U.S., but that's why he's called King Poseidon. Piranha King, I think, it's the U.S. version or whatever. But yeah, King Poseidon. Uh, he's really cool. Um, yeah, uh, com uh, he's the only other combiner that I've gotten besides Bruticus and Devastator. Did I even? No, I don't think I've got, ever gotten a Predaking. Although that Combiner Wars Predaking does look really cool, cool too. Anyway, got him in car mode. I've been rambling a little too much about combiners, but hey, when you're messing with part of a combiner, you can't help but ramble about combiners a little bit. And then my other gripe besides the hood is that. At least on my copy the back section just does not want to hold together quite right and I'm not sure why hopefully it won't be too visible in the combined mode but hey it is what it is I suppose and then you can of course store the guns on the back here and that's probably how I'll store him until I get everything to combine them into Metasaur and then I'll hopefully get that third party upgrade kit for him eh, and he rolls a little bit he rolls okay he is a cool looking car, but I feel like if they had gone with, um, I don't know, using the same mold, not exactly the same mold, but you know, changing up the exterior details, but having them transform the same, but then again, if they all transform the same, that would get kind of boring, but at least if you knew the mold is very reliable, then you wouldn't have problems, say, like the hood popping off and the back not wanting to connect together properly. But anyway, from the front, it doesn't look too bad, and hopefully when these combine, it won't look too bad either. So that's about it for Transformers Legacy Dead End. If you like this review and would like to see more, please click that like and subscribe button to see more. Until next time, have a good one, everyone.